Hi, this is a video to show you how to set up uh, Quizlet. So what you do is you go to your Quizlet page and you log in, okay, and here you get all your Quizlets that you're going to do. You can also set up classes here for which you can put Quizlets in so that the students can look at these up at the end of school. So what we're going to do today is finding the equation of a cubic from its graph, so the 12 terms, and in order to do Quizlet Live, you must have at least 12 terms, okay? You can search for a lot of these, even if you haven't made your own, and if you click on this, it will open. You've got different types of versions of Quiz Quizlet that you can use, okay? And if the students have got the app and you've got them in their class, they can use them for uh, revision, so they can set up um, tests if you like, so there's one here is a test, so they have to write, type in the answer. Um, the matching is quite good, start the gang and then they have to match up once and, and they will disappear as they match up, it, it times them as they're doing it. Uh, flashcards is obviously quite good so because it's flashcards represented as, by as y equals as well as you're doing plus it. Plus b x squared plus c x plus okay, d. Yeah, yeah. Find the values of b, c, and d. And if I you see there, if it does it, if I click on the card, a equals one, b it, equals it one, c equals one, for them. d equals one. Okay, so that's quite useful. All right, and all some of these are in the um, app. Now. The one that we really want to look at here is the one called Quizlet Live, which is this one here. So what you need to do is that you press the Live button, and it says, do you want to create a game? Don't worry about these two things here. And you create a game, and what happens is a code comes up here. Now the students, what they do is they click on the top here, and now they search for Quizlet Live. Now you can't play this in the app. Okay, so you search for Quizlet Live, okay, and you go for the one, it says Quizlet Live. So you have to do this in Safari if you're doing it on an iPad. So if they click Quizlet Live, and you can use the phone, and then it says the teacher gives you the code. So what they do is they take this code here, and then put that code in here, and then join the game, and they give themselves a name. in order to join the game. What we do now is we ask the students to go to Quizlet Live, and I've just shown you how to do that, okay? And then they will put their code in there. So we'll just go back, this is, so this is now the teacher's screen, so the students are now in front of me putting in their codes, and then it will ask them to put in their name. Okay, so you can see names appearing here. If I don't like any of these names, I can uh, throw them out. You need at least four to play this game. So I've got seven students in front of me. I'm still waiting for... Just waiting for one more. I can... Okay, so just waiting for one more. Now, if you have a problem with the Wi-Fi and they get kicked out during the game, the students can always put in the um, code at any time. Okay, so I've got my seven students. So what I do now is I press create a game with seven students. And this is quite good because it will sign random teams or I can create my own teams. I usually just go for random teams. So I'm gonna sign the random teams. Then you go and ask the students to sit in those teams, please. So you can do that now. If you don't talk though, if you just do that, go and sit in the teams roughly and when they Sat in the teams, you press here, start game. Okay, and this screen comes up, and then it's the first to answer all 12 questions. If they answer one incorrectly, it will go back down to zero. And on the student screens, they will have the questions and have to work with a team to, to try and find the answers. So they'll have the 12 responses. They don't know which uh, computer they're on, but, uh, and the teams will get different questions. Okay, and if they get one wrong, they automatically go down to zero. Thank you very much for watching.